And this year's World Water Safety Day has been marked to propagate global awareness of ongoing drowning pandemic and to educate the youth to be safety conscious when around water bodies. The lack of water safety education is believed to have increased cases of drowning worldwide. Water Safety Day initiative is a global effort to drum home the fact that drowning is preventable. Caroline Capino, a swimming instructor at the Lizzy Sports Complex in Accra, emphasizes the need for swimming lessons to be undertaken at any level in one's life. The surface of our earth is covered 70% by water. 96% uh, of that is the ocean. So we as humans, we don't need to be on the water. We eat, we live, we sleep on land. So uh, we don't have to learn to swim. But as, as most of our planet is covered by water, it's safer if we do know. And the safest way to be safe in, on, and around the water is to learn to swim. Statistics from the World Health Organization indicate that 372,000 people drown every year with children less than five years at greater risk. Globally, over half of all drowning deaths are among those aged under 25 years. She advised that safety tips and the use of appropriate materials at the pool are observed in order to ensure safety. The life jackets, because... Um you can actually use these in the swimming pool. Like if you have a toddler or a small child and you really just want to make sure that even though you're watching him, if he manages to escape your view for even a little bit, if you have something like this on him, it can ch save his life. Because these are probably the safest things to wear to prevent drowning. Because it, once it's fastened onto the child securely, they won't be able to get out of it. The swimming noodle is very easy to throw away or, or lose contact with. So this would be the safest thing if you want to have your child very safe. A child shouldn't be wearing this one. You can see, how imagine how it would be for a little child to wear this size life jacket. He'll easily slip out.